What up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is another Grey Zone Warfare video. I'm going to be bringing you a real rapid fire update of the roundtable from Mara and Madfinger Games. I'm not going to go into any introduction or anything like that. I'm just going to go through the list that I have for those of you who missed it. First and foremost, there's going to be a day night cycle, day night update with the first update. Um, they're talking about with the night cycle having the AI sleeping or some of the AI sleeping. He didn't go into too much detail with that. Every six months, there's going to be a wipe. You'll start over from nothing. Everything's cleared, just like Tarkov. You have to redo the missions and see all the new content that they added. But they plan at least early for every six months to have a huge update. So the wipe is going to be worth it. They're going to be releasing a roadmap alongside EA to have all the information included. The release date is going to be within this month. I'll give you more on that in just a minute. So with the chopper and the LZ with the play test, uh, that, that we played, there was a lot of quote unquote extract camping, but in reality, it was more just people coming and going with the same LZ. So they're trying to add extra landing zones and possibly returning what they had in place before, which was shooting from the helicopter. I'm a big fan of that. Make it more competitive first and see how we do. They're going to make the uh, fob rating a little bit harder. They're going to be buffing the AI. Probably the biggest news that I liked is there's going to be a faction squad radio. Like the squad leads are going to be able to talk amongst each other in your faction. That's going to be huge for us. They want to implement real-time quests alongside fob defenses. So when someone's raiding your fob, you're going to have an actual real-time quest pop up that you have to kill them. They're going to be changing the economy a little bit. People were making too much money in the playtest, which I completely agree with. I had like almost $500,000. They're going to be implementing a weapon modification screen instead of just doing it from inspecting your weapon that's actually going to be laid there on the table so you can actually look at it you're not going to be able to loot your own guards at the fob because they don't want it to be exploited loot is going to evolve with early access but they want to make sure the core gameplay is, is solid first range finders binoculars these things will come eventually if you can imagine the items with a first person shooter or a real tactical first person shooter they're going to have it they have 50 guns planned for the future every boss is going to have a specific gun with customization on it that you can use as a trophy, something like that. I imagine those will maybe sell for more money. They have no plan for a market. I really like this, and I know I'm, a lot of people are probably going to disagree with me because, you know, everybody loves Tarkov. Well, maybe not so much anymore. There's no plan for a market, a flea market. They don't want the game to focus on an economy because it's going to be a hard time trying to balance that. I think that's been a really, really cool thing for Tarkov, but they have had a hell of a time trying to balance it. So for now, the only trading that's going to be taking place is locally at the FOB with someone you know, maybe in VoIP, doing a quick exchange, something like that. But there will be no server flea market or, you know, a whole game-wide flea market type thing, which I'm a fan of. The game doesn't need to be focused on that it needs to be focused on the story and, and, and the gameplay you know so when you go rogue from killing your teammates you're gonna have limited access to traders you're gonna have to pay a bounty to get back in i have a theory with this you know we had a guy in our, our in the collective orcus he kind of de developed this idea with the map on the west side we've kind of pushed it a little bit farther I, I think the mode of transportation for the rogues is going to be by boat if you look at the map there's two main rivers that go to all pois so i think the rogues transportation will be by boat another cool thing pvp zones this is what i'm really excited for pvp zones for factions to control for traders and spawn points so there's going to be traders on lemang that you can absolutely you know pvp for the area maybe captured as a spawn point for your faction and you'll have access to that in-game i guess like a black market trader body dragging i've known about this for a little while uh they did not like the way it looked uh but it is coming eventually so you can body drag your teammates maybe even enemies i'm not sure pve events they're going to be coming later Cross progression is set in stone for now, at least. I'm, a, I'm against that completely. I think that is stupid. It's silly. If PvE people want to go play it, that's great, but they should not be able to drag progression. That is insane. But whatever. They're going to have a stash auto sort. It's coming soon. It's already implemented. They just got to apply the button. So camping in one spot is going to bring mosquitoes, the buzzing in your ear, the flies, things like that. If you're sitting still for too long, that's when the mosquitoes will come. I love that idea. Although I think they're a little bit too loud. Flies will be around dead bodies as the corpse are decomposing. Flies will start to come around dead bodies and kind of give you an audio recognition that somebody's dead near you. So pricing, there's going to be four editions. There's going to be a $35, $57, $79, and $99 edition. Each of these have different perks, stash size, in-game cosmetics, things like that. It's on their Steam page. Y'all can go check that out. Okay, release date. Monday is going to be a trailer with the early access announcement. And this right here is speculation, but everything is pointing towards Thursday, and I'm assuming yeah, the, that week, Thursday, at the very latest two weeks out, as far as what I've known, what I've been told from the moment they ended the play test, it, the whole plan from the get go was to launch early access very fast. So I do not see it going past two weeks. So that's it, everybody. That's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.